Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to save seeds from these uh, beautiful black cherry tomatoes. I say beautiful, I have no idea. Everybody that tries them uh, says that they are beautiful and they taste like candy. They're sweeter than, than a normal uh, tomato and they absolutely love them. So I'm going to follow that lead and say, Bill, grow those for next year or just save seeds to give away. If they like it, they'll take some seeds. So anyway, uh, it'll be fun to also grow these in the springtime. So I'll tell you the method that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the fermentation method. Um, basically we're going to squeeze the innards out into a jar uh, or glass or cup or whatever you're going to use. Um, add a little bit of water and then cover it and then put it aside for about a week, uh, a few days to a week. And what that does is it will it'll separate the uh, the seeds from the from the slime inside the goop, and uh, what that goop does is it it, uh, it stops the seeds from germinating. So if you were to uh, there is a gross spider climbing up the wall. <laughs> I hate spiders. I love what they do. I hate them. So anyway, uh, <laughs> sidetracked by shiny things. Um, where was I? <laughs> uh, so if if you were to plant these in the soil now, like if you just opened it up and all the goop was still there and you just left it out on the soil. Um, that goop would stop the seeds from, from sprouting. And that's why you need to take that goop off. Uh, you can rub these. If you had just a, a couple of tomatoes, you can use a piece of paper towel and just smear the, the seeds off onto the paper towel, uh, like we did with the, uh, the dragon fruit seeds. I smeared them on, let them dry for a few days, maybe a week, and then at that point you cut out the section that you want with the amount of seeds that you want. I actually like that method because it keeps the seeds in one place and, and you just lay it on the soil surface, cover it slightly, and then just water it. And, and it uh, it's golden. It's a beautiful way. But I have... I just came back from vacation and I came to my tomato plants and I have a lot of cherry tomatoes uh, that they were on there too long and they just started exploding. Uh, these things get really ripe really quick and they just... Uh, they get... They just... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a tomato expert, but uh, these ones I'm going to use. I kept all the nice ones, and uh, people are eating those right now. Well, not right now, but uh, I give them away as gifts uh, when I go to visit. Here, take some tomatoes. I don't want them. And uh, so anyway, rambling on, uh, what I'm going to use is I have a vase. I didn't have a pickle jar. I didn't have a, a cup that I wanted mold to grow in. Uh, gross. So <clears throat> I ended up using a vase. We'll wash it afterwards. Flowers don't care. No, they don't. And I've got a, um, a coffee filter that's going to be put over the top. It still allows some air circulation through, but it doesn't allow little insects through. Uh, so you don't want the, the larvae and stuff going on there. And it also doesn't allow anything additional foreign to get in. And an elastic band. That will to go, be to go over the top. And I've also got a bottle of water. This is not orange, orangina, it is water. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's just get to it. Let's start squishing some tomatoes, shall we? Another good thing about this mix, or doing it this way, is you're going to be separating the seeds from, from all of its uh, goop. And uh, when, when you're all finished, we're going to spread them out onto a, uh, uh, a piece of, I don't know, plastic or something, a plate. Uh, and then they're going to dry individually, and then you can store them nicely and, and in a smaller container. With the paper towel method, you're going to have that big paper towel that you're going to have to fold up and, and, uh, and find a home for. Which isn't bad, but if you're doing, like I said, a lot of seeds, then, uh, then it's probably not a recommended way. So anyway, with these ones, uh, they've already got a crack in there, so all the goop is going to come out the, the bottom here, uh, or the cracked area. So... I'm not, I don't have to worry about breaking these, but uh, something like this one, I'll end up poking it with a knife or, or just breaking it so that uh, when I squish it, it's not going to squish back up into my hands. So let's just uh, give it a good squeeze. Try to get as many of the seeds out as possible. I've got my recycle bin. You can eat these for sure. I don't eat tomatoes. I don't eat raw tomatoes. Uh, what is wrong with me? Just gonna get something to poke the the end. Oop. And uh, look at all the the yuck. Huh. 
<laughs> it's so gross. It's good to use as ripe as you can tomatoes. Uh, th that way you're going to get better seeds. But uh, I don't know if these these were ripe. These were vine ripened. But uh, who knows if, if the seeds are actually ready. I'm noticing in there there's, there's a bunch of green. And I'm not sure whether those are, are still seeds. Ew. It's so gross looking. <laughs> gross. Alright. So I'm not going to show you uh, me doing all of these because I'm sure you've got better things to do. But uh, we'll come back once I've got all of these squished and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so I've squeezed all of those tomatoes. It's funny, <clears throat> it doesn't look like a lot, but look at all the seeds down there in the bottom. Can you see that right along in here? There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of seeds. There's also some up the, up the side. If you wanted to, you could wipe some of them on a paper towel and let, let them dry like that. That is totally okay. Because you're basically doing the same task, um, just spilling them out onto a paper towel. But I want to save these individually. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of water. There's about um, almost an inch of, of uh, goo in there and seeds. I'm going to add maybe a half an inch of water to this. Not very much. Just to dilute it a little bit. It's going to allow the uh, the the seeds to become separated from the from the goo. I'm just going to mix it around just a little bit, agitate it, and then I am going to take look inside there. You. I'm going to take the uh, the coffee filter and the elastic band. We're just going to stick it on there again. This is to keep any bugs ickiness away. Um, when I was when I was doing this, there was a little fruit fly or a fungus gnat that was enjoying the uh, the process, and he just hung out here with me, uh, so I had to shoo him away. Um, so anyway, we will come back to this in about uh, four or five days, probably a week. I'll probably do it uh, the next weekend, and there will be some mold growing on uh, growing in here, and uh, we'll we'll scrape that off, and uh, we'll just get to the seeds. So anyway. Uh, stay tuned, we will uh, be right back. Okay, you guys, well, it's been about... How long has it been? It's been about six days. Uh, it's recommended to keep the, um, the seeds in this uh, solution for maybe four days, three or four days. You're going to get this mold develop on the top. I don't know whether you're able to see it there. It's a gross, crusty layer of mold. Really yucky. And then there's all of the seeds down on the bottom. I'm not pointing at the right area here. So you want to just give it a little bit of a shake just a little bit and you notice all of the seeds will fall down anything that floats is a bad seed it is a dead seed so only the sunken ones are the ones that you want so I'm gonna bring you down and we're going to start dumping this out down the sink we're gonna throw the mold out and then we're going to, uh, to just you'll see what we're gonna do just one sec I'll bring you down to the sink look at the lights down there we, put, we just did a little bit of a renovation to our kitchen not long ago. We put the undermount LED lights that change color. I don't know whether it's turning out very well. I, I see flashing. It's not flashing. It's, it's changing color. It does constant white too, but who, who wants that? You want to be fun, right? <laughs> anyway, come on down to the sink. It's going to be a long video, I think. Okay, so I'm going to take a fork <laughs> and I'm just going to take the, um, the lid off here. As you can see in there, it's really gross. Just going to take the fork and we're just going to remove this moldy bit. I'm going to put it right into the into the composter. Sorry, I'm a little off frame. So we got rid of all of that. And as you can see, now what we're going to do We're going to fill this up with some water. If you want, you can use a strainer if you're not sure of yourself. We're just going to, as you can see, all of the, uh, the seeds are sinking. 
They're all down at the bottom. I don't know whether the camera's going to pull that up, but they are. Just shake it around a little bit and then dump out some water. Again, all the seeds, the good seeds are at the bottom. So you want to dump out lots of water, but not a lot enough to see down there at the bottom. It's all the seeds. So we're going to fill it up with some more water. We're just rinsing it all away. Oop. Give it a second for the seeds to all float down. Again, the good seeds will sink, the bad seeds will float. So we'll just keep doing this until the water comes out almost clean. It won't take long. It's getting there. Look at all those seeds. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Just shake it up a little bit. Get all the loose bits that are, are still stuck there, unstuck from the seeds. We'll pour it out. Ooh, the seeds want it out. Now, if you had a strainer, you can strain these out. But uh, actually, let's let's uh, let's get a strainer. Okay, so I have a strainer here. Let's fill this uh, vase up with a little bit more water. If I was using a cup or something, I wouldn't have to worry about refilling it before dumping it. I'd just dump it out. But because of the shape of this vase, it's all wonky. It would be hard to, to bring them around and, and get them out of this thing. So I'm just going to dump them all into the strainer. I'm going to do this a couple of times because they're getting stuck in there. Just want to get all the seeds out. If I lose a couple, that's okay, because I sure as heck don't need all of these seeds. Alright, I'll just rinse out this vase, and we'll wash it a little bit later. So, uh, now I'm going to pan you over, and we're going to uh, get a, a, a plate, or you can use a cutting board, or anything that's, that's kind of uh, a solid surface. You don't want anything porous. You want to be able to uh, to uh, let the seeds dry and then scrape them all off. If you have a piece of uh, wax paper, would probably work uh, that you can that you can uh, put these on to dry. Let me just uh, bring over the plate. All right, so here we go. The plate's ready. It's a nice shiny surface. It, these won't stick to the to the plate. And now we've got all the seeds. We're just gonna smack them down, and you want to spread them out nice and thin. You want them as thin as you can get them because if they stick together, well, you don't really want them to stick together. It'll be okay if they do. Uh, you want to be able to separate them uh, after they dry. And it's a lot easier to separate them if they're spread very, very thinly. Again, you could do this onto a piece of paper towel, no harm. Then you could just cut the bits of paper towel to, um, uh, with the amount of seeds that you want to plant that would work as well. And these will be able to be stored until uh, next spring when you want to go and plant your tomatoes. No problem. So we'll come back in a day or so or two days and uh, we will scrape these off and put them in an envelope. So stay tuned for that. That'll, we'll, Like I said we're gonna let these sit and dry out for about uh, 24 to 48 hours. You'll know they're just going to be dry and crunchy. You can leave them out all week if you want. Uh, just in a in a dry location. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so I've left these seeds for about a week. Uh, I've had them in a uh, in a warm, dry place. So just in the kitchen, and uh, now they've had time to dry. And the reason why you want to have it on a uh, on a shiny surface like a plate or uh, maybe some wax paper uh, is so that you can take them up and and uh, move them around and break them up a little bit again because uh, they will tend to stick <laughs> uh, so anyway you just want to go and break them apart a little bit move them around and then grab yourself an envelope I uh, I went on YouTube and I found out how to make my own origami envelope because the only envelopes I have are quite large 
um, and I didn't want to put all these seeds in a large envelope. So anyway, uh, if you want, you can uh, go on YouTube and uh, and search out how to make seed envelopes. You can make whatever size you want. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I put the, uh, the, the type on here, black cherry tomato and the year. I'm just going to stick these in this envelope. I could have probably gone with a bigger envelope. <laughs> oh, Bill. Uh, a bigger envelope would have been fine. And then these will keep until next spring when we're ready to plant them. So stay tuned for planting videos in the springtime. These seeds actually feel very, very light. They feel like, like a puffed cereal, uh, which is bizarre. I thought that they would have felt a little bit more uh, robust, but who am I to say what a seed should feel like when they're in mass like this? All right, let's just tip this plate. <laughs> there we go. I lost a few. That's okay. I got tons here. So then we're just going to fold this over and we'll tape it. Uh, not the way you're supposed to do an origami uh, because you're not supposed to use tape. But this is so full uh, that I can't do anything about it. So anyway, I'm not going to tape this right now. I might actually switch this into a, uh, a bigger envelope. Um, I didn't really think about this uh, prior to the video. But uh, you get the gist. And uh, just keep these in a cool, dry place for, this, uh, for the season. And then when you're ready to use them, just pop it open. And uh, I would recommend soaking them overnight just to rehydrate them. But you could just plant them out normally. And if you use the, uh, the paper towel method, like I said before, just cut a piece of the paper towel out and uh, lay it on the soil surface. And uh, maybe cover it a little bit with some soil and uh, you should be good to go. Just water it in and watch them grow. Anyway, happy growing everyone and uh, enjoy saving your seeds. It could be a lot of fun and very rewarding. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. I had no idea how to take care of it. it was, I was growing it uh, inside and, and uh, it, it, it was doing okay inside actually, but it didn't flower. And I kind of figured, he gave me some back bulbs and some, some baby bulbs and stuff, and they were all 